What's going on guys, man, it's OVO Westbrook and I'm back with another video for y'all. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about why Tristan Thompson needs to be traded from the Cleveland Cavaliers by the NBA trade deadline. And it's very simple. It's because when it comes down to it, the NBA Finals, it will not be useful against the Warriors. Now think about it. Tristan Thompson's role on the Cavaliers is to play defense, rebound, and set screens on offense. Now people fail to realize when the Warriors focus in on boxing him out and he gets no rebounds, he's basically useless. Now he can play a little bit of defense, but the rebounding is the main factor. You see they even replaced him with Kevin Love at center and the Kardashian curse. Now I mean, I don't wanna to get too much into the Kardashian curse, but you know, he's having a baby from one of the, one of the Kardashians. And that curse is real. But besides the curse, just think of some other things. Tristan Thompson is 6'9". He's basically a power forward, but he's playing center. Now with that being said, when they focus on boxing him out, there's not really much that he can do about that. I mean, I know he has a high motor, he keeps working, but when you're undersized and guys that are bigger than you focus on boxing you out, you beat. Now, if he does not get rebounds, he has to make up, make up for it in other ways. Now, he can make up for it by being like a defensive anchor. He's not really a defensive anchor. What he is, I mean, he's a very good defender, and you can switch him onto Curry, or basically anybody who goes into a pick and roll situation with him. Now they have Isaiah Thomas. Let's imagine a pick and roll with Steph Curry and KD, or Steph Curry and Draymond. There's not really much that they can do with that because I mean they're not very good pick and roll defenders. They need somebody who can be a defensive anchor, like even a DeAndre Jordan. Like if they had DeAndre Jordan, a knock on him is that he can't shoot free throws, but he can do everything that Tristan Thompson can do plus more. So I mean he's not gonna he's still gonna get rebounds. He's gonna get way more rebounds than Tristan Thompson gets because he's bigger, and he's also a defensive anchor. He can still set screens on offense. Can still switch on to other players on defense I would like that a lot better if they could somehow land a big man who can contribute on offense and defense which I mean he can stop somebody from scoring and also score himself consistently that'll be a great piece to add like uh, if they got Boogie Cousins Boogie Cousins can do that for him but right now all I see him doing is he can help them get to the finals, but when they get to the finals, he can't help them when they're there. Because basically, once he can't rebound, he's useless. Now, I know he's been injured, which is a part of the reason for his decline this season. And he's kind of sort of getting himself back into shape from that. But he hasn't developed any other skills. Like, uh, basically, if Tristan Thompson could shoot jumpers, Maybe it'd be a different story, like if he's shooting threes, mid-range jumpers, and everything like that. Because that way he can contribute on offense more. Because they need a big man who can stretch the floor out. And Tristan Thompson can't do that. And so if you can't stretch out the floor, you have to get rebounds. If you can't get rebounds and you can't stretch the floor, you can't stay on the floor. Plain and simple. Now, Tristan Thompson isn't trash. He isn't trash. But, he's not the guy for the job this season. Now, I mean, tell me what you think down below. If you think that they should trade Tristan Thompson or if they should keep him, what do you think they should do? With that being said, this is Obia Westbrook, and I'm out.